Hi, I am Nidhi Bummer from Enterprise DB and I am a technical writer. In this demo, I am going to walk you through the search object feature which is available from PEM 7.14 version. Now this feature allows you to search any database objects based on search patterns and locate the objects in the browser tree. The browser tree will get loaded automatically if required when locating the object. So now let's start. So on my this machine, I already have PEM 7.14 version up and running and I am connecting to my PEM server using PEM web client and I already have few servers registered to my PEM server directory. So let's connect to first server that is EPAS 12 and under that I have several databases. So let me use EDB store database as my sample database to demonstrate the search objects feature. Now to start the search objects dialog there are three different ways. First you can go for clicking on the tools drop down list and click on the search objects. Second you can right click on the database and on the content menu you can click on search objects and the third is you can directly click on the toolbar button. So now let me use the toolbar button. So that opens my search objects dialog. Now here on the title of the dialog, you will be able to see database and server details just similar to your query tool. Now, whenever you want to search the object, you need to at least type three characters. So I am writing here cust and then I'm clicking on search button. You can also press enter. So it has listed me all the objects whose names contain cust as a value. And you can see the list of all the objects. In the search output, you can see the object name, you can see the object type and the browser path. And at the bottom, you can see the total number of how many matches are found. So this is a complete list of objects found here according to my search criteria. Now, if I want to check the details of customer ID, I can go and double click on this customer ID column. And you can see on my left side browser tree, it has located the customer ID column. So now let us go and click on for the second object. Say for example, I will click on this foreign keys. And see what happens so it has jumped to that particular foreign key in the browser tree and located that foreign key in the browser tree control so this is how you can search the objects and navigate to that objects directly on the browser tree using the search objects feature now here while searching we had kept the object type selection as all types so it has listed me all the columns, foreign keys, primary key, indexes, sequences, everything. But now if I want to list only, say for example, tables, I can apply that filter and I can have the list of tables only. If I want to check the sequences, I can click on sequences and that filter will be applied. So if I want to go back to all the objects, I can go and select the all types and I have that complete list. Now in this complete list, you can see that these three indexes are in gray color, which are different from the others. Why it is in gray color? Because they are not in the browser tree control. So if I double click on that, I can see the warning message at the bottom, which says that indexes, index objects are disabled in the browser and you can enable them in the preferences dialog. So if I click on preferences dialog, it will open the preferences dialog for me. There under browser, we have nodes and inside nodes, I can go and change the visibility of indexes from height to show. And then click on save button, come back to your search objects dialog and go for clicking on search button once again, that will refresh and now you can see all the indexes are no more in the gray color and if I click on any of it is locating that index in the browser tree. So this is the way how you can use this search objects feature 
from PEM 7.14 version. So this was a demo to help you work with the search objects feature of PEM server which was introduced in PEM 7.14 version. So thank you for watching this video and I hope it will help you in using this feature.